Can I do a ladybird myself using deed claim software? My attorney will charge $500 plus filing charges. I am on a fixed income. I own the property in my own name, but only want to transfer to my son. And the Lady Bird deed is named after Lady Bird Johnson, the wife of former President Lyndon Baines Johnson. So it got its name because it was how he left a bunch of property to her. So they, they were both, she came into the marriage, I think she came into the marriage with more money than him, but as being powerful does, they tend to accumulate a lot of money, especially probably in Texas politics. But um, but when he died, so essentially how the Lady Bird deed operates is that it's close, it's close to like a transfer on death deed. So there was a group of properties that were in Lyndon's name that when he died, he before he died, while he was alive, he deeded them in a way where it automatically transfers to Lady Bird when he died. So when he died, Lady Bird got all of his property without having to go through probate. And she got some tax advantages and the capital gains and so. But the main advantage was she didn't have to go through probate. And Lyndon had control of her property during his lifetime, and then it went to Lady Bird upon his death. Clean, easy, simple. Cool. Um, the problem is, is that not that many states actually accept Lady Bird deeds. So we're right. in Georgia. No Lady Bird deeds in Georgia. You can have. Um, and that's the first thing I would run by this person, like before you make a ladybird deed make sure a ladybird deed is allowable in your state because i want to say it's like somewhere between like 15 and 20 states usually accept them as a matter of course mm -hmm. it might be higher than that once again legal entertainment but, but it's not universal but i think if if in this question she's already talked to an attorney and you know she has a quote assuming yeah. assuming yeah. That she's quote, talked to an attorney and it's right. good with their state <laughs> Um, so we can assume that that lawyer has looked into it and said, yes, you can She's do made this. it to the one-yard line with this lawyer but doesn't want to pay them. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So my thought is on on something like that that's not a very straightforward conveyance and you're going to have to follow a lot of hurdles to make sure it does what you want it to do, just pay the lawyer. Yes. Yep. I mean, you can yep. use will – I mean, can use deed drafting software. Once again, would you – how much do you trust the software? Right. And, um, and if do you trust does, it with the value And if it doesn't work – how easy will it be for you to get the people running the software to fix it for you? And you might be dead. By the time you realize right. there's a problem, you'll probably be dead. Right. So you just might wind up with a situation where that deed is not accepted and, and doesn't actually do what you want it to do. So you might wind up having spent the money filing it and all the hassle doing it and then or having, nothing. And then potentially having to do probate anyway Yeah. Right. or having to correct it. So I would recommend – talking with the lawyer seeing how she can get the she should get that lawyer was very kind of her to literally give her all that legal advice and not have charged her yet mm -hmm. um but hopefully she can figure i would say go through your lawyer <laughs> as a general yeah. thing because it looks it looks complex potentially and mm -hmm. um don't mess it up and yeah. if hopefully the lawyer will maybe go on a payment plan whatever take a card they're human yeah. beings right. but i think the mm -hmm. the whole point of labor deed though depending on how you want if she wanted to leave particularly someone outside of her immediate family then it, or someone who wasn't her natural heir at law i mean right. she wants to make sure that deed's okay yeah right. or just with one of her children to the exclusion of others and not have other people get involved in it it's fairly important not to mess it up guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this let us know post a comment guys we went to the trouble of creating you a fantastic pdf listed in the description of this video it is a summary of the key mistakes to avoid when planning for your estate um you can go get that steven and james both wrote it together and it is a summary of all of the mistakes they've seen people make as they think about estate planning don't make those mistakes your family is the ones that's going to pay for it and they're not going to like you very much so that's how you go in to avoid them. Click the link in the description. You can get that PDF. It's absolutely free. You're welcome. We're so generous. <laughs>